Hey there, everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, and we are ready to roll. All right. And it's San Diego at New York. Let's take a look. We're using Replay Baseball for the online stack keeping feature, and we're rolling using the Fall Classic rules. I'm replaying the 71 Mets. And let's take a look at the date. This is a Thursday, June 10th game, 1971. It's Nolan Ryan, the Express on the Mound, versus Clay Kirby for the Padres. And we haven't rolled to see what kind of stuff they'll be having. So let's do that and get it out of the way. And that's for Ryan first. And Ryan will have his, oh, his ace stuff. He still walks a ton of guys, though. But he will have his A stuff. So Ryan is an A. And let's see. Kirby will be a B. And let's get started here. Let's go over the lineups real quick. And Hernandez, Campbell, Gaston, Colbert, Brown, and Morel, Spezio, Barton, and Kirby. For the Padres, for the Mets, it's Han. Boswell, Marshall, Crane, Paul, Shamsky, Aspermonte, Dyer, Foley, and Nolan Ryan. Play ball, screams the umpire. Bring the black and then the white. Enzo Hernandez, he's a right-handed hitter. And that's a 54 chart. Immediately it says go to the Wilder chart. I pull a card. It says go to Wilder chart. So I pull another card and it says go to the Wildest chart. Oh, boy. And while this, with the bases empty, it's going to read catcher interference on batter swing. It's going to be E2, and the batter takes first. So it's an error on the catcher. Catcher interference. And it's a run around first. Here's Campbell. And let's try hit and run with a 9. And if he's an A... No, he's not an A hit and run guy, so he pops it up. It's going to be the shortstop. Who's playing shortstop for the Mets today? Tim Foley. Harrelson is getting a rest. And uh, here's Gaston, Cito Gaston, Nolan Ryan. The Express with a 65, and that is a drive. But no, it stops. It's caught at the track by Shamsky for out number two. And Nate Colbert now with a 62, and that should be a strikeout, and it is, and that retires the side. Easy top of the first for Nolan Ryan. Here's Don Hahn leading off the bottom of the first for the Mets. Clay Kirby with the pitch of 65 is a minus 9. It's a B minus 9. It's a 1, and that ball is driven to center field, and that ball is out of here. Don Hahn connects off Clay Kirby. That's the only number that it could have been for a home run. It's a 1 to 10 on Kirby's B column with the minus 9 on uh, Hahn because he doesn't hit many home runs. He only hit 1. So the only possible number for him to hit a home run is a 1, and that's what I rolled, and that's going to be a home run. The Mets are up 1 nothing. First batter, home run. And here's Kenny Boswell now. He bats lefty. He's in the replays batting 331. And a 24 will be a 1-3 to three hit by pitch. The modifier on the pitcher is a minus 2, so that will be a fly ball right field. No hit by pitch here. Clay Kirby has good control. And here is, uh, should be Marshall now. Dave Marshall. And that's a 62, which will be a strikeout. Marshall swings and misses at a high fastball. And Crane pull now with two outs and nobody on. Crane pull with a 46. That's a ballpark. That's a drive. And that's in the gap. That's going to roll to the wall. And digging for second is Crane pull. And he's in there standing up with a two out double. Ed Crane pull hits a two run double here. And that puts him in scoring position for Art Shamsky batting lefty. Art Shamsky only had 135 at bats, batted 185, and I guess he was sent back down to the minors. Shams are released. I'm not sure what happened with Shamsky that season. So here's a pitch from Kirby to Shamsky, a 64, and that'll be struck him out. 
checks his swing, but he's called out. And uh, we go to the top of the second. Mets are up one nothing. Ollie Brown, downtown Ollie Brown with a 15, and that is bounced to short, picked up by Foley, fires the first in the dirt, scooped out nicely by Cranepool, one away. Ivan Morell, right-handed hitter versus Nolan Ryan with a 56, and struck him out. Remember, Ryan is on his A stuff today. And here's Spezio. Ryan this year has a 440 ERA and a 2 and 4 record. Here's Ed Spezio with a 66. And that's going to be pulled down the line and kicks up some chalk. That's a fair ball. And digging for second is Spezio. Shamsky picks it up in the corner, plays the carom nicely. The fires to second base. The tag by Boswell, not in time. And that's a two out double by Ed Spezio. Runner in scoring position. Here comes Bob Barton. Bob Barton, 250 hitter. Here's the pitch. And that is a 52 and a one. Struck him out. And that retires the side. Another strikeout for Ryan, who buzzed a fastball right by Bob Barton. And we go to the bottom of the second. Bob Aspromonte, Clay Kirby. Wines and deals, and that's a 22 and a one to three and a walk, and that's a one. So he will walk, and that's a plus sign. So we're going to roll for a stolen base. He is, oh, he's going to get, yeah, he is out at second base. Could be an error, though, on the catcher. Will not be. So it's going to be a 2-4. Caught stealing. Aspermonti's out of there. Here's Duffy Dyer next. Dyer with a 55, and that is line base hit to left. Played on a hop by Ivan Morell. Gets it into Enzo Hernandez. And Dyer is on it first with one out. Foley with a hit and run. There goes Dyer, and that's going to be a seven. And that's a fly ball. Center field back to first goes Dyer. Nolan Ryan now. And that's a snake eyes and swing and a miss. Struck him out. That retires the side. Go to the top. Uh, we're at the top of the third now. Nolan Ryan is going to face off against Kirby and then the top of the order. Take a quick sip. All right. Pitch from Ryan. That's a 13, and that's a strikeout. Blows a fastball by Kirby. Next up is Enzo Hernandez. Full-time shortstop for the 71 Padres with a 26. And against a lefty, it's a single. Otherwise, it's bounced right back to Ryan, who bobbles it for a second, throws over to first, and gets Hernandez two away. Dave Campbell now. He buy bats from the right side. 227 hitter with a 54. That's going to be a 54 chart. We're going to check right field for an error. And it's hit down the line. And Marshall runs it down. Because that number 20 is too high. No way Marshall. I will look, but no way Marshall is that high on the error rating. No, he's a zero error rating. He committed no errors. So here's Don Hahn leading off the bottom of the third inning. Clay Kirby with the pitch. It's a 41. That should be a base on balls, and it is. So Hahn walks. We're gonna, Boswell's going to bunt. And that is a six. Uh, we're going to roll, oh, the 11. Let's see what happens here. Now, two and 12 would be a double play. Otherwise, it's a pop-up. Pop-up to first base. And here's Marshall with a runner on first. And we're going to try to hit and run here, an eight. And that is a ground ball. Second base. That will move up Han into scoring position with two outs for Eddie Cranepool. And it's a 62. And that's bounced to short. Charged by Hernandez. Fires the first in time. And that retires the side. We go top of the fourth. Score is 1-0. Mets. Ryan versus the heart of the order. Cito Gaston with a 62. Struck him out. Nate Colbert, 
with a 26 and against a lefty that would be a hit but against a righty it's bounced to short picked up by foley and foley throws him out two down here's downtown ollie brown and it's a 34 and that will be lined to center field and han is right there that retires the side we go to the Bottom of the fourth inning. Mets coming up. They're bringing up Shamsky leading off. Aspromonte. And uh, whoever's after that. Clay Kirby with the pitch to Shamsky. And that will be bounced to short. Oh, he's a lefty. Uh, yeah, that will be bounced to first and taken by Colbert for out number one. Aspromonte next. And he bounces it to third, backhanded by Spezio. Long throw to first, scooped out of the dirt by Colbert. Five to three, two away. And Dyer now. And that's a check swing. And they ask the first base umpire, and he rings him up. And, oh, Dyer does not like that. Doesn't think he went around. Morell now in the top of the fifth inning, one nothing Mets. Padres, no runs, one hit, no errors. The Mets, one run, three hits, and one error. Here's Bob, uh, Ivan Morell, and that's a 46 with a 5, and that's going to be fouled right below the TV booth here at Shea Stadium. And Morell, again, gets another opportunity with a 13, and he will fly fly out center field. Han drifts over, squeezes it for out number one. Spezio. With a 16 and a 1-6. to six. That's a fly ball to left. In the corner is Shamsky, and he comes up with it. Nice catch by Shamsky. Stayed with it the whole way. Barton with two out with a 23, and that will be a K. Another K. Let's see how many that is for Ryan. That is six strikeouts for Ryan. Bottom of the fifth, Foley leading off. Tim Foley. And that's a 15, which will be a fly ball. Center field. Backing up a few steps is Gaston. And he makes the catch. Nolan Ryan's up next with a, we'll say that's a 21. That's a strikeout. Close enough to a 21. Don't care what it is, really. It's cocked. It's not cocked. It's close enough to a 21. It's leading into the 21. That's a 16 this time. And that'll be a strikeout. Han. Swings and misses at a curveball in the dirt. And we go to the top of the sixth inning. one nothing Mets. Ryan. Ryan's an A pitcher today. Here's Clay Kirby with a 23. And he strikes out. That's number seven for Ryan. Struck out seven so far in six innings here at the Shea Stadium. Enzo Hernandez, top of the order. With a 25, and that will be bounced to third. Scooped by Aspromonte, and he throws him out. Two away. Dave Campbell up next. That's a 25, and that will be bounced to second. Boswell in front of it. Sidearms it to first, and that retires the side. Boswell leading off here the bottom of the sixth inning. A one to nothing Mets lead here at Shea. It's a 15, and that will be a fly ball. Hit on the screws, but right at the right fielder, Ollie Brown. Dave Marshall now bats from the left side with a 35, and a 35 will be lined again to right field. But positioned perfectly is Brown. Two outs, and Eddie Cranepool with a 31. That's bounced up the middle, and that's a base hit. So Cranepool picks up a hit. He's batting 279, and this will put him up over 280. His actual batting average was 280. And here's Shamsky with two outs. Pitch to Shamsky. It's a 41. That's ball four. Let's take a look at uh, Kirby. Can go 33. Let's see how many he's gone so far. He's gone 22. He's got a long way to go. There's two outs here. Runners on uh, should be first and second. With two outs. Here's Bob Aspromonte. Pitch from Kirby with a 53 and a one. Struck him out. Go to the top of the seventh inning. Ryan has his A stuff today. Seven strikeouts so far. Cito Gaston 
with a 23, and he picks up his eighth strikeout. Gaston swings and misses at a high Ryan fastball. Nate Colbert up next with a 32, and that's going to be bounce right back to Ryan. And Ryan throws him out, two away. Ryan's got a one hitter so far in this game, and here's Ollie Brown. Ollie Brown's a 273 hitter with a 21, and he flies out. Center field on the run is Hahn. And Hahn tracks it down to retire the side. Three up, three down for Ryan. Duffy Dyer leading off. Bottom of the seven versus Clay Kirby. It's going to be a 21, and he swings and misses for strike three. Foley. And that's a ballpark with a 10, and that is pull down the line and foul. Foley again with a 45, and that will be lined and caught by the third baseman, L5. As for Monty. In the right place at the right time, here's Ryan with a 62 and a 7. That's lifted to left, shallow left. Back goes Hernandez, in comes Morell, and Morell comes up with it. And that retires the side. We go to the top of the eighth inning. The Ivan Morell leading off against Ryan. With a 32, and that's going to be a bouncer to second. Boswell throws him that one down. Spezio next. With a 42, and that should be a base on balls, and it is. That's something we haven't rolled in the 40s. That's where Ryan's walks are. He's had good control in this game. Here's Barton. They try to hit a run here with Barton. And that's going to be an 8, and that will be a grounder too short. Runner will advance. No chance for a double play. Slow grounded is short. And with the tying run at second base, going to see a pinch hitter here. So we're going to replace Kirby. Let's look and see who we're going to bring in. Somebody uh, we need to want a lefty. Uh, Stahl. Larry Stahl is going to come in and pinch hit. With the tying run at second base in Spezio. Spezio... Uh, let's see what kind of speed he has. Oh, he's not really super speedy. But we'll see what happens. Here's a pitch to stall, and that is a 35, and a 35 will be a bouncer to third, picked up by Aspromonte. High throw, nice stretch by Cranepool, and that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the eighth, new pitcher for the Padres. In the bottom of the eighth, who's that going to be? I'll show you how I do this. I take a look at uh, pitchers here. These two guys have pitched plenty. And uh, I'm going to go with Kelly, the lefty. I do have some lefties in the lineup coming up. So I will go with Kelly to nullify those lefties who are the better hitters for the Mets. And um, let's see if we can find Kelly here. I have all the pitchers together, so that makes it a little bit easier. Hmm. Okay, can I find... Wait. Let's see... Yeah, got him. All right, here comes Dick Kelly. He will face Don Hahn. Kelly uh, had a 1.2 whip in 48 games. Don Hahn, the righty. Here's a pitch from Kelly, and that is a 25, which versus a lefty will be a base hit. So bangs went up the middle, and he's on it first. We will get a hit and run from, uh, actually, you know what? We're going to get a, uh, let's see. We're going to bring in a pinch hitter here or may not. We don't really have any infielder we want to use today. So we're going to actually try to hit and run with Boswell. And that is going to be a 7, which will be a fly out the center field. Marshall, now, this is where we're going to bring in a pinch. We're going to bring in uh, Singleton, Kenny Singleton, to pinch hit. And he'll stand to play right field. Here's the pitch to Singleton. And it's a 14. And that is bounce hit right back to Kelly. Kelly turns around, fires to Hernandez at second, back to Colbert at first. Double play. 1 6 3. And they turn it. And that retires the side. We go to the top of the ninth. So in right field, we're going to put uh, Singleton out there. 
And uh, Ryan's going to try to finish it off. Ryan can go uh, 27. Let's see how many he's gone. Ryan has gone 27 exactly. So he's pitching a one-hitter. See how many strikeouts he has. He has uh, eight strikeouts. All right. So let's go. That's the top of the order, Enzo Hernandez. And here's a pitch from Ryan. And that's going to be a 62. Struck him out. That's strikeout number number nine. Let's see if he can make it to ten strikeouts. One away. Mets are on the verge. Two outs away from a one nothing victory. What a pitching performance by Nolan Ryan, the Express. Here's Campbell. And that's a fifty two. That'll be an error check on the shortstop. But Foley, Foley's error rating is uh, is a 9, and that's a 19, so it's bounced to Foley. Foley charges, fires on the run, and gets Campbell. And here's Gaston with two outs and nobody on. Ryan checks in with Dyer, winds and deals, and that's going to be a 52, and that's going to be an error check. It's, we're checking the second baseman. Second baseman is Boswell. We rolled a seven, so Boswell's error number is, is where is the Mets? Where are the Mets? The Mets. Boswell's error number is a six. So Boswell makes a nice play to his right, sets his feet, mm. throws the first in time, and the ball game is over. Final score. Wow, Mets. Nolan Ryan improves his record to three and four, pitches a complete game shutout. No runs, one hit allowed by Nolan Ryan. No errors for the Padres. One run, five hits, and one error for the Mets. And let's take a quick peek at the box score here. Uh, Don Hahn had a good day, raised his average to 290 with a two for three day. And Cranepool had two hits, raised his average to 286. Dyer went one for three, raised his average to 250. And everybody else took an 0 for. And uh, Basel is down to 320. And who else was batting above and beyond his capability? Marshall's down to 275, more realistic. And let's see, Ryan has improved his ERA to 375 with that one hit shutout. Wow, look at this pitching performance. Nine innings, one hit, one walk, only one walk. He's had he struggled with his control throughout the season. And nine strikeouts, only 30 batters faced. So this was an outstanding pitching performance by Nolan Ryan. This is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. And thanks to Replay Baseball for the PC. And thanks to Fall Classic for the Cards and Dice. I will see you guys soon.